What's up YouTube, Mom Buna Marcus here. As you can see, I'm bringing you guys another unboxing video. I was at one of my favorite uh, fish shops tonight and unfortunately it was closing its doors. So whatever was left in the store was hugely discounted and I took advantage of uh, picking up a bunch of different bottom dwelling type fish. So I'm going to get right to it and I'll show you guys what I obviously grabbed. Might be a little hard to see, but as you can see there's a bag full of loaches in here. Oh, it looks like it's leaking. And these are called Batik or Zodiac type loaches. So they're kind of related to those like, uh, I, I don't know, I'm not sure if you can really throw them into the grouping of Hillstream loaches, but very similar, you know, they're going to come from fast moving, uh, you know, rapid water, you know, usually small streams that come from higher elevation. Actually, I don't think these are the Batik loaches. I think these are sumo loaches. Um, either way, it's going to be hard to, to identify through the bag. I'll make sure that the second part of the video, I can really uh, showcase each individual species better for you. But you can see with the stripes, when the sumos are really fired up, the males, as you can see between the stripes there, there's like an orange-reddish color. And that can actually get quite fired up. So it's a beautiful looking fish. And uh, like I said... You know, does usually quite well and is quite hardy and is now quite, how can I say, readily available in the hobby. A lot of these loaches did not really come to uh, popularity up until maybe 10 years ago. So now since they're available, you can almost get them all the time. But before then, they were quite hard to find. So those are the sumos. These are the Nigra Lineata loaches so it's a variety of dwarf loach I actually have these guys uh, at home already but I figured I might add a few more to the school that I have quite hardy very comical and also very peaceful so if you have a you know a planted aquarium and you're looking for a loach that's not going to harass or bother everybody this is a very good choice so this is the bag with all the Batik or Zodiac loaches. As you can see, they look very similar to the Sumos. But instead, they have a very, uh, obviously, elongated body, but um, they have like a, a, zigzag, a zigzag pattern. It's kind of hard to see if they're not staying still. But there's actually two varieties of uh, Batik or Zodiac loach in there. And obviously, the one isn't. Um, I asked the guy that was working at the store. Um, obviously, I, I noticed that there were two different species. But he told me both these fish were collected from basically the same area. So I'm going to have to do a little more research. But as you can see from the zigzags, that's your typical batik loach. And up close, you can see the one that actually has the dotting underneath the upper part of the zigzag. So that is technically not a batik or zodiac loach. It's something else. Uh, the one right in the middle is uh, a zodiac loach, as you can see. The barring is very predominant. So... Like I said, second part of the video, I'm going to do my research and see what I come up with. So this was the other store that's in Kitchener. The typical Big Owls. You guys see me do a lot of unboxing videos with this logo on the bag. And what do we have here? Oh, we have some marble dragon gobies. That's how they're, uh, that's how they're labeled. What these are, um, I did a video not too long ago of a fish. I didn't know what it was. I knew it was some variety of goby. Uh, but based on its characteristics, I thought maybe it was a variety of mudskipper. It turned out that I was right. It just seems to be uh, a mudskipper that's basically fully aquatic. So technically from where these guys are found, there should be you know a slight concentration of salt in the water. But either way, the ones that I do have, uh, or the one that I do have, is doing very well. And I figured I needed to grab him some buddies. So, like I said, second part of the video, I'll give you guys a nice close-up. Middle bag here. This was quite a nice score today. These are called queen loaches, or queen botillas. I, as you can see, they're a little bit bigger than everything else. They have a nice uh, barred pattern. And, uh, you know, the pattern itself is slightly unique. A lot of loaches have that. Um, but again, the loaches are usually identified by the individual type patterns they all have. So very cool fish. Quite happy with the size of them. And I'm sure they'll do quite well. And I uh, look forward to seeing how they mix with everybody else. 
Last but not least, it's actually not a loach, it's a catfish. Um, let me see here. This is called, let me see, a porthole catfish. So it's very closely related to like your hoplo or armored catfish. The name on these guys I believe is Dianema longibarbus. I could be wrong, but I think I'm I think I'm right on these guys. And uh, this is a very excellent catfish. If you guys have a very peaceful community aquarium, these guys don't get quite as large as the armored or the hoplo cats, but both species are very very friendly. So I've always had a special place in my heart for this variety of uh, catfish. And I imagine that they'll do quite well and again are an excellent scavenger. So let's put these guys back and uh, I'll see you guys in the second part of the video. So here we are now with the follow up part of the video. I put all the fish into one quarantine aquarium. It's a 15 gallon tank. I have an air bubbler and some good water circulation from uh, this power head. And I decided that I'll put everybody into the same tank just so that there was a lot of fish to quarantine and I wanted to hit them hard with uh, some real good water changes. So I figured they could all benefit being together. And I have to say again, this was a very good batch of fish. I haven't lost anything. And uh, as you can see, basically perched out on top of that uh, cichlid stone are, uh, is one of the three mud skippers. Again, it's a fully aquatic uh, variety, and it's not exactly the same variety as the one that I did in an update video, or how can I say, another unboxing video a little ways back. These guys are a little bit different. Um, they're not picky at all when it comes to eating, and uh, they seem to be quite hardy. They like water current, and instead of just, you know, chewing on decapsulized brine shrimp, which a lot of these fish are scavenging, and the mud skipper that I have downstairs only eats. These guys seem to like pellets, and as you can see, they're very active and they're very uh, personable. Behind there, you can see is one of the porthole catfish. This is one of three. Again, excellent scavenger, very peaceful. Doesn't get as big as its close cousin, the armored cat. But again, if you have uh, you know a, a planted aquarium and you want a very good scavenger that's going to not harm or bother anybody, these are a great choice. You know, inside the log here we have a couple of the Queen Botia. Uh, they're a little bit bigger. And we have the Zodiacs. We also have the Nigra Lineata. And we have the Batik and the Batik look-alike loaches. All kind of hiding out. There's one here at the back. This is one of the mystery loaches. And I checked out loaches.com but I couldn't identify it so maybe once uh, they settle in and go into a better tank I'll take some photos and uh, put them onto a fish form to see if someone can identify but most of the other ones seem to hide and in the first part of the video the bag uh, that I showed the camera was not Nigra Lineata loaches it was just a separate bag carrying some of those uh, different Batic loaches so as you can see everybody's doing well I'm going to throw a little bit of food in the tank See if they can all come out. As you can see, the, the mud skippers are quite personable and alert. The other variety that I have downstairs is uh, unless something kind of falls onto his face, it doesn't come out. But these fish now, as you can see, are all very conditioned to the feeding. Some of those sinking pellets just went down and look at everybody scurrying over for it. So you can see there's a, again, you've seen the tank just before I threw the pellets in and you didn't see any fish. Now they're all out. A lot of the Batic and the Sumo loaches, as you can see here, I'll scroll in on one. Again, there's that Batic type loach. There's a Sumo loach with the beautiful red halfway through the body. They like to hang out underneath a lot of uh, fish ornaments. So again, when I was at the fish store, I didn't even know they had sumo loaches until the person working there removed one of the ornaments and about 12 of them were sitting underneath it. So as you can see, everybody's quite active and they're very greedily eating the food. So obviously that's a very good sign. And again, these being scavenger type fish, they make a great addition, you know, if you need something to take 
care of any leftovers your main fish you know leave behind so as you can see everybody's doing very well and uh, I look forward to doing some species profile vids on them and that's basically it for today thanks everybody for watching